This is One on One. Brought to you by International Union of Operating Engineers, Local 825. Welcome to the Tisch WNAT studio here in the heart of uh, Lincoln Center, Manhattan. We uh, welcome Gene Chatsky, who is uh, today's show financial editor and author of a book called Money Rules, The Simple Path to Lifelong Security. Is there a simple path, Gene, to lifelong security? You know, there is actually a simple path. What people don't understand, because there's so much information flowing out there about investments and so much information about every single one, is that if you can master a few simple financial habits early in your life and just do them throughout your life, you're going to be fine. Well, let me, let me try this on you. Um, people who see you on the Today Show on a regular basis learn all sorts of important financial information. However, if I were to put you on the spot and say, what's the number one most common mistake people make when it comes to money. They spend more than they make. Do we? Yes. Why, because we think we have more than we really have? Or we don't know how much <laughs> we have coming in or, how, or where it's going. I mean, people, uh, about half of all the people in this country are what we call financially fragile. And that means they couldn't come up with $2,000 if they needed it. These are folks who don't have emergency cushions. And two grand? If, two grand. And if they had to come up with that amount of money on the spot, they would have to take out a payday loan. They'd have to sell their belongings. They would have to withdraw funds from their 401k, which is one of those things we say, uh-uh, never. And it's because people don't know how to save. And if they do know how to save, they don't do it habitually, which is one of those things you gotta do throughout your whole life to get you to the end of the road. But Jean, you've learned to become an expert in part because of some of your experiences with yes. money. I share. I blew it, <laughs> as many people do. I, no, yes, I did. we have. We, I blew it. Coming out of college, I got myself into some credit card debt. I grew up in the Midwest, um, Wisconsin, Indiana, West Virginia, Michigan, Illinois, all over. And I went to school in Philadelphia, came out of school, moved to New York, got a job earning $11,500 a year. And surprise, surprise, could not really do it on that salary. I got a little help from my parents, which was very, very kind of them. But um, and I got a second job, by the way, teaching SATs on the side, and I still got in over my head in credit card debt. I completely blew my first attempt at a 401k. I didn't really get it. I didn't understand what it was, and I left that first job, and I got a check in the mail. I was delighted. I just yeah. did a little shopping. Um, a little shopping? A little shopping. A little more shopping than I should have done, <laughs> quite frankly. When and did it, it hit you me, had, that you had a problem? Uh... It hit me that I had a problem when I, I married for the second time. And when I Join the club. when I realized that my first marriage might not stick. In I, part because of? No, not at all because of finances, okay. actually. But I, I, I came to the understanding that I was going to have to do this myself um, at some point, as 90% of the women in this country will have to do, because not just only of divorce, but because we live longer than you sure. tend to do. And so not knowing, A, how to handle my own money, but more important than that, not actually doing it was not acceptable anymore. And so I, I grew up, I got a clue, I started dealing with my own money, doing the same things that I was learning on the job as a financial reporter, everybody had to do. And, and I started saving like a lunatic, and it- Saving like a lunatic? Yeah. It, what does it mean to save like a lunatic? You know, I, I talked a little bit about how most people don't, um, don't spend less than they make. I started spending a lot less than I was making, and just putting away money for all of my different goals. I've got two kids. I was mm. going to have to pay for half of college, so I started saving for that. I started making sure that I was putting away enough for retirement, making sure that I was paying down the mortgage, because although a mortgage qualifies as good debt, I don't like debt. I don't mm. like to have it. And so I just got my own life in, in shape. How much of the advice you give is a product of your own experience? Um, some 
is a product of my own experience and some is just good old fashioned journalism. I mean, there, you know, I'm a reporter. That, that's essentially what I do. People look at me and they think, well, she's a financial advisor. I'm not. They think I'm an economist. I'm definitely not. <laughs> I got a C in econ in college. You're a reporter. Um, I'm a reporter. And so when these new financial tools and instruments come out, these new products come out, I dive in and I ask a lot of questions to understand how to handle them, how to get a grip on them, how to maneuver them. And, and it's important because our generation and the generations that follow us, we're so much more responsible for our financial lives than any mm. other generation that came before us. You know, our parents and our grandparents, they had pensions. We don't have pensions. No. We, we have 401ks and That's we right. need to handle them ourselves. We're on our own. Yeah, and health insurance as well. This book, what will yes. people get out of it? I, I love this book. I've written, I've Here written, um, I've written nine books. This is by far my favorite, and it's my favorite because, as somebody put it to me, it's a bathroom book. A you bathroom can, book? You can leave it in the bathroom, and you can pick it up, and you can open it to any page, and you can learn something. It's a rule, a page. And and these rules are, are simple, memorable things that you can just sort of take with you and teach your kids. Love it. And by the way, you have a book for veterans. What is it? I do. I do. I have a book for veterans. It's free. It's available on my website. And so it's, it's a, a, a guide for military families. Why do they need a book about money that is different from everyone else? Their pension system is different. Um, their health care system is different. Uh, they move every few years and they need different strategies for that reason. Their salary system is different. And so mm -hmm. I, I um, thanks to the folks at Citibank and NBC, we, we sat down and we put this together and it's free, it's downloadable. You can get it on my website or on Amazon. Real quick before I let you go. Um, number one piece of advice for people dealing with credit card debt, watching us on public broadcasting and files right now, what is it? Um, Right now, lower your interest rates if you've got a good credit score because interest rates are starting to go up. So take advantage of some of those balance transfer cards and then pay down the debt highest interest rate first. Buy a home now? If you're going to be there for five years or more. If not? Don't. Rent. you got to be there for five years or more if it's going to pay off because there's a cost to moving. Mm. So five years or more, buy. Got to ask you this. Um, Best thing about being on the Today Show is? I, I have been on the Today Show for 20 years. The, the best thing about being on the Today Show is those, those folks have become my work family, and I, I really value family. that. Do you give them advice? If they ask. The crew. <laughs> I, I, I have, I have, I have, um, I have intimate knowledge of, well, of the Matt mortgages of some of the crew members. Matt has not come to you and said, listen, Gene, I'm having trouble with my credit card debt. No, Matt has not come to me and asked that question. Matt has not said to you, I've got some issues with, you know, I don't have enough disposable income? No, he has not. He, he has definitely not. But I can tell you that he is a, he is a very, very good words with friends player. He and, I, he and I play words with friends and, and many games going all at the same time. And he beats me more than I beat him. And I don't like that. You're competitive, aren't you? I am. I can see it in your eyes. Yeah. Uh, folks, go out and get uh, Money Rules. The Simple Path to Lifelong Security. Gene Chatsky, who is the, uh, the financial guru over at the Today oh, wow. Show and um, the author of Money Rules. Uh, we, listen, we thank you for offering some uh, free advice here on public television because we don't pay. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you. Construction companies work at the heart of our communities. So do the operating engineers of Local 825, who build our roads and bridges and ensure the safe transmission of energy that keeps us on the move. Local 825 works with contractors as partners in quality, safety, and training. Our achievements stand as monuments to collaboration that will last for generations. This message has been brought to you by the members of Operating Engineers Local 825. Better building begins here. Also brought to you by NJ Best, New Jersey's 529 College Savings Plan, Virtua, and by the New Jersey Education Association.